In this video, we're going to find the mass of this triangular plate. And you can see that this triangular plate is bounded by the x-axis, the line x plus y equals 4, and the line y equals 3x. Now remember that mass is the integral from A to B. This is the general formula, A being where to start integrating, B where to stop integrating. Uh, we have our density function rho times dA. Now we could find this mass by integrating along the x-axis, but this will be way too hard. Uh, this will require two integrals. Uh, so we're going to integrate along the y-axis, but before we do that, let's just see why we would need two integrals to integrate along the x-axis. So if we were going to integrate along the x-axis to find dA, we would start by drawing one of our arbitrary rectangles there. And notice that the, that the topmost function of this rectangle is y equals 3x. But this isn't the topmost function for all rectangles when integrating along the x-axis, right? This integral over here, or this, sorry, this uh, rectangle right here would have topmost function x plus y equals 4. So two different general rectangles means two integrals, and that's way too hard. So it makes sense to integrate along the y-axis because then our rectangle always has the same rightmost function, which is x plus y equals 4, and always the same leftmost function, y equals 3x. All right, so continuing to compute our mass integral, Let's see, we should, uh, if we're integrating along the y-axis, you can see that we start at zero. And where do we stop? We want to stop when we get to the y-value of that point. So we're going to stop at question mark. And now um, rho. Rho is given to us in terms of y, so that'll work. So we'll plug rho in. We have y times, now we're going to have a length. The length of our arbitrary rectangle uh, times the width. And the width, remember, will be dy. So let's find that length. So to find that length, remember that we need uh, the first we need the rightmost function in terms of y. So we're going to take this function and write it in terms of y. So our rightmost function is 4 minus y, and then we'll subtract our leftmost function. So again, we want to write this in terms of, of y. So solving for x, we get x equals y over 3. Plugging that in there. Okay, now let's find where to stop. All right, so to find where to stop, many ways you could go about this. Um, now that we have already have these two uh, functions in terms of y, we could set x e equal to each other. So in other words, we're asking where do these two lines cross? So we can solve for that by setting y over 3 equal to 4 minus y and solving. Because if you think about it, right, each of these 
functions gives us an x value. And the x value at this point is the same. Right, where, the, where two points cross, two points will cross at the same point. They have the same x and y value. So that's why we set them equal to each other. Now solving for y, let's see, I'll multiply both sides by 3. That'll give me y equals 12 minus 3y. And then adding 3y to both sides. I'm going to get 4y equals 12 and y equals 3. So I see that where I have to stop is 3. Now let me clean things up a bit here. And now let's compute this integral. First, uh, combining like terms in the parentheses here, we have negative y minus a third y. So that's combining like terms, that's negative 4 thirds y. So y times 4 minus 4 thirds y y. Now distributing this y through setting up to use the power rule. We have 4y squared over 2 minus 4 thirds times y cubed over 3, evaluated from 0 to 3. Now notice we can cancel here, so we have a 2 there. Let me just put that in there. And let's see. And notice that we have each of these, there's a y in each of these terms, so when we plug in the 0, we're going to get 0. So we don't need, to worry about, don't need to worry about that one. So then we have 2 times 3 squared minus 4 over 3 times 3 cubed over 3. Now notice that, let's see, you could cancel one of these with one of those, and you have two left, and you cancel one of those with one of those, and you'd have one left. So here we have 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 18 minus 12 is 6. And so our answer is 6 grams because of our units.